It's the San Jose Giants pregame show, getting ready for another Giants ball game. I'm Joe Rizzo, and joining me here today is Giants outfielder Jared Dupuri. Off to a great start here with the ball club. A big part of what's uh, been going on here with the team here in the second half of the season. And, and Jared, let's talk about uh, your year. It, it was a delayed start to the season for you. I know you were going through some injuries in the first half, but clearly making up for some lost time. How's it been feeling to, to settle in here in San Jose and be a, a big part of this team right now? You know, it's been great. Um, my first time in affiliate ball this year, you know, with getting drafted last year. Um, and the guys here, coaches here, it's been amazing. Um, they've done a great job with kind of welcoming me, making me feel comfortable and let me play my game. Um, so they've been a big part of that. And then being here in front of the fans, playing, <laughs> I think this is the most fans I've ever played in front of, you know, Northeast and not being a huge school but uh it's been great they've been awesome um and then to be able to perform and do the things i've been doing uh it's been good um you know the hard work and uh, off season paid off you know um and yeah i just hope to keep it going i was talking with kyle haynes the farm director about you the other day he said you know look had had everything gone according to plan had you been healthy you probably would have been here in april and and been in the middle of this lineup at the very start of the year it didn't work out that way injuries are a part of the game how frustrating was that? I mean, I know you wanted to hit the ground running in this year, first full year, and then had to wait a couple of months to finally uh, really get going here. No, it was definitely frustrating, you know, um, coming in, spring training, I was all excited, you know, feeling good, and then injury pops up, and then, you know, I was start kind of came back a little bit too quick, so that was even more frustrating because I thought I was ready to go. And then, you know, and then I came back, and then I had another injury. I got a concussion doing a drill, so I was like, oh, my God, is this – you know the type of season this is going to be you know but i try to stay focused keep with it you know get better every day get healthier every day and uh finally you know azl started off a little bit slow so still you know struggling with you know the game and then um you know things started to click pretty quickly you know and then uh it was just kind of off and running since then. So Yeah, we're yeah. visiting here with Jared Dupree, Giants outfielder. Jared, you joined the team here in San Jose in early July, and in your first ever game at Excite Ballpark in front of a big weekend crowd, your first at-bat, you had a home run, and then you come up in the 10th inning and you win the game with a double, uh, a walk-off celebration. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than that, right, yeah. to kind of announce yourself to a, a new team and a new fan base. Yeah, you know, it's kind of stuff you kind of dream about, you know. Uh, I was nervous coming in, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. And, uh, you know, hitting that home run the first A.B., you know, just kind of just kind of had that calming feeling, you know. And um, it's like I said, stuff, stuff you dream about, you know, coming in, you know, hitting that first home run uh in your first ab it was great and then uh to help this team win the uh, walk off you know it was just special and uh kind of put me in the right direction um here so it was awesome how about specifically what, what do you think has been the, the key to your success here offensively you mentioned how it was an important off season for you you know working hard to to you know kind of uh, step up and and hit the ground running here and in this your start of your your pro career i mean what's kind of been the difference for you because obviously hitting for average hitting for power it, it seems like you've been quite comfortable from day one here in san jose yeah you know i think it all started with the arizona and working with some of the coaches there and kind of fine-tuning some things and having that you know struggle at the beginning can kind of fix some things um and then finally fix them in the azl and then just continuing that here just uh, some minor adjustments in my swing you know uh, especially in the off season just working on a few ticks um and then just keeping my approach simple you know uh sitting fastball um and just hunting my pitch and uh i know i was i worked hard you know get that strength in me so if i can, can put a barrel on it it's gonna go pretty far so yeah and jared a little about your background you're as you said a northeast guy you, you grew up in massachusetts i looked and saw that you were a pretty good football player as well in high school uh, uh, a two poor a sport standout uh what was that like was was baseball always going to be kind of number one for you or, or was football maybe creeping in there for a little bit? No, no, a big thing was playing multiple sports as a kid. Um, and I love football, but baseball was definitely always my number one sport. But, uh, you know, playing high school football, there's a few things like that, especially where I would live. So uh, it was, that definitely helped me with baseball as well. You know, kind of having a little bit of a break of baseball, not playing it all year at that age. I think football definitely helped with creating, you know, some athleticism, speed and strength. So that definitely helped with the game of baseball too yeah and then you went to northeastern and had a, a great career there your final season you, you set the record for home runs in a single season 21 homers in in one college year i mean that must be pretty special to, to go to a place like that and and find yourself at the top of a record like that no it is awesome especially when you look at some of the guys you know that went through that school like carlos pena and having 
you know, what he did in the uh, major league. So be able to do some of the stuff that I did there is definitely very special to me, um, and especially with that program on the rise. So it was definitely a special year for me, yeah. And what then was, was draft day like for you? It was a little over a year ago now, and the Giants that took you after that uh, run you had at, at Northeastern. Did you have an idea that, that the Giants were interested? What was that whole process like? No, it, it, obviously it's a day I'll never forget. Um, it was a crazy, crazy few days for me. Um, had a few different calls for a few different teams, you know, maybe taken here, maybe taken there. I knew the Giants were interested. Uh, they called me after the second day saying, we really want you. Um, and it was just a... It's just, a, <laughs> you know, it's still tough to put into words sometimes of what that moment was for me. You know, all that hard work paying off, um, and it was just a special day. Yeah. All right. Well, they wanted you, they got you, and now here you are in San Jose having a, a great first full season as a pro. Jared, appreciate the time, and best of luck here down the home stretch of the year. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, that's Giants outfielder Jared Dupree. We thank him for joining us here on our pregame show tonight. Giants baseball is coming up right after this.